Hey everybody, today I want to talk about a law that was just recently passed in Indiana. It's called the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. And everyone is hailing this as this massive LGBT discrimination act. We've also heard from a bunch of businesses like Salesforce, Angie's List, the CEO of Apple, Tim Cook. They've all come out and made statements expressing their concern over potential discrimination in Indiana after this law was signed in. So the real important question here is what is the Religious Freedom Restoration Act? It basically states that the government cannot inhibit religious freedom and that if a person or entity feels that the government has violated their right to express their religion, they can file a claim or a lawsuit against the government. Nowhere in this bill does it mention anything to do with the LGBT community or LGBT people. So why is it after all of this that people still feel the bill is anti-LGBT? There are many laws that protect people based on their race, gender, or religion, but there are no federal laws or Indiana laws that protect people based on their sexual orientation. Now, because of these federal laws, regardless of your religious belief, you cannot discriminate based on race, gender, religion. But because there are no protections for sexual orientation, they absolutely can. A lot of that might be speculative, but when you look at this photo that was tweeted by the governor, you start to get suspicious. This is a photo of Governor Michael Pence signing the bill into law. Standing just behind him are three prominent anti-gay activists. So first we have Micah Clark. Now according to GLAAD, he believes homosexuality is a treatable disorder and he publicly raged against a lesbian high school student over a prom tuxedo. Next, we have Kurt Smith who according to GLAAD equates homosexuality with bestiality and adultery and he helped write the bill. Lastly, we have Eric Miller, who according to GLAAD distributed a fear flyer falsely claiming that pastors could be jailed for preaching against homosexuality after same-sex marriage passed. Here's the important takeaway. We're focusing a lot of attention on the potential discrimination the LGBT community faces and probably will face with this bill, and rightly so. I mean, we've got a seemingly visible agenda happening around the signing of this law. But the law is actually really vague, and that means a whole bunch of other issues can arise around this. A good example being a pharmacist denies medication or contraception to somebody based on their religious beliefs. But it's not all bad. If you look at the original law from 1993, the federal law, they had some protections for Native Americans who wanted to consume peyote as part of their tribal rituals. So in some instances, there actually are some real protections that people need in terms of these bills. We just have to make sure we use this law in the right way and that we extend civil rights to everybody, including those in the LGBT community. I want to know what you guys think, though. So comment below, tell me what's up, why you agree or disagree with this law, and what you think on the bigger picture. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Check out fusion.net for more awesome content. You can find me on social media at TimCast. See you later.